Welcome to America's heartland, Bloomington, Indiana, home of the Indiana Hoosiers. Memorial Stadium will be jumping in anticipation of what we've got in store today. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Indiana Hoosiers. 48 Sports College Football. Gonna run it. It's Edwards. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. From the shotgun, the inside give. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. They'll need three yards here on third down to keep this opening drive alive. To the ground to try to move the chains. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Pressure coming. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Caught near the sideline, it's Morgan. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on... Running it to the right. Across the 10, got it out to the 14. That's a gain of five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And they'll get him down, but boy, did he put some dudes in the spin cycle. My goodness. They'll snap it from the 26 on first down. I love this guy because he brings a physicality to this Michigan offense. Bo Schembechler would have loved this guy. He would have loved to jog a few extra tight ends on the field, get the QB under center, student body right, and give this guy the football. He would have fit in perfectly with his running style. Man, he is hard to bring down. Here on third down for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And they needed an inch, and they didn't get it. This defense gives up nothing, and you'll like it. Off play action on first down. He was able to squirt free and pick up a few and avoid a negative play there. Now on second down. They'll give it to the back. It's that hole for four and gets it out to the 16. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40 yard gains later. They really wear down defenses and they test their physicality. Trying to buy a little time and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. 
How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Michigan, zero. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. A third down play to open up this quarter. Scanning the field, it's Hall. They're working that left side. At midfield, he's got room. And the tackle was made, but not before. That completion gets them 30 plus. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Just a short pass to the tight end. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them coming. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. And the Wolverines are flying down the field. With the run on first and goal. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan! After that, there might be a few extra tackling drills in practice this week. Listen, and when you only got one guy there, it makes it really hard to get to the ground. You need a swarm. Where are my other guys? You got to get one, two, three more guys to the football to make sure you get them on the ground. They'll try the run. Rumbles across the 10, down at the 12-yard line after a pickup of six. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves them with second and four. Looking to throw, it's Hall. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. Third down play from the gun. Got it on the outside. It's Edwards. They were banking on the yards after the catch, but that went into the negative. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll go right back to him. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. And you've already sent your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. They'll try to run for it. The Wolverines will move the sticks with the first down. Man, this offense continues to do such a great job on third down. One of the best in the country at it, and the reason why, they keep it manageable most of the time. Third and short, they can run the football, be physical, convert first downs. This offense has been so good on third downs. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They've been running it, but now the pass. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the 
tried to sneak the draw in there. The defense was not full. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Fires to the big fella. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. To the air. It's Hall. Throws to the wideout. And it's picked off. Gets away from one. Finds room. And they make the play and make sure there's not any scoring opportunity right here before the end of the half. QBs have to understand. When I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys in my eyes. I might have to look one direction. Hand off from the gun. And the ball slipped out. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. I don't know if it was luck or aggression or just a fortuitous balance, but at least they've got the ball back. But one thing I do know, Reese, this running back has got to do a better job with ball security. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win this game. They're very lucky they were able to jump on top of that. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. He has 89 yards on the ground and just another day at the office for the national leader in rushing. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Caught in the backfield, it's Edwards. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. Using his legs, it's Edwards. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. On second down, he'll let it fly. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. QB's got to be able to play on so many different levels. They got to read coverages, know the snap count, know what everybody's doing, and then does a great job at the end making something out of nothing, making a positive play, picking up a new set of downs, a new set of problems for this defense. They'll line up for a second down play. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. To the air. It's Hall. He lets one fly deep. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers and he couldn't hold on. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Here's the handoff. He breaks a tackle. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. 
I'll tell you what, they're down, but they're not out with this guy. They keep feeding him. He keeps having success on the ground. Maybe I use this now to catapult, use some play action. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. That's caught. It's Edwards. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. And the Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Wants to fire on second down. He let that thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. A third and long coming up here. And that is a good example of how pressure on the quarterback affects him later in the game. This guy's been popped a couple of times, but because he's not able to step into throws, balls start sailing, they don't go exactly where he wants them to go, and you're creating incompletions. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the move, it's Hall. He's right on target. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They'll try to power their way ahead. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and this offense, listen, we're in warp speed, right? We got, we got to score a bunch of points here. We're down. We're trailing. We got to go fast, but we also got to get first down. And that's a nice job sneaking in the run, getting the first down, and now we crank the tempo back up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. On the run, it's Edwards. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Not even a moment of anxiety in that decision. Fourth and one? Yep, we're going. Well, this isn't even a discussion in the headset. Like, this is automatic, autopilot. Like, fourth and one, we're going for it every single time. After run, 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 now throw. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Now the play fake. Let's it go to the end zone. And that pass is intercepted. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick, and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much, late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the... Okay. 
He's going to throw it from his own end zone. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Good quickness to grab it off the bounce. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. After that last completion, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Hall. Fires to the tight end. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. And the Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. I'll tell you, this offense just can't afford too many more incompletions because time's running out in the game. They need big plays in the passing attack, vertically down the field, and they've got to score some touchdowns. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. They bring him down, but that great defensive play might be overturned. Right. Let's see what the call is. Defense. Oh, man. Thought he had the interception, but the official rules gained too much of an advantage. So, wave off the turnover and give up the yardage. It'll be first down. To the air on first down. Fires to the middle. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. And that is interception number three on the day. Smashes through the tackle. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big... Looking downfield, it's Hall. Looking to the big tight end. It's caught downfield. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. Now on first down after that completion. He's looking to throw it. Unloads it downfield. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. He'll come out throwing on first down. He'll take another shot here. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, and time has expired here in the fourth. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game I think would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that.